My love is everlasting, ever, ever, everlasting to everlasting. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. So, um, after that lackluster performance from Jer Anderson, um, Bob Haram issued a challenge to any boxer out there that wants to uh, challenge Jerry Addison and then give him a, a war basically like give him the work and uh, Luis Otis came out it was very bored of him saying that he's ready let's hear from him right here Pómelo y te aseguro que Va a ser una gran pelea, va a ser una gran pelea y va a ser una pesadilla para Anderson, para Anderson y para ti. Gracias, mi gente. Buenas tardes, fanáticos del boxeo. Esto es un mensaje para Bo Aaron. Bo Aaron, si de verdad quieres probar a tu, a, a tu pupilo, a Anderson, eh, pónmelo, pónmelo y te aseguro que va a ser una gran pelea. Well, after Luis Otis called, called Anderson out, called Bob Arum out, basically saying, Liz, I'm ready, is what he's saying. It's going to be a great fight and an, um, I'll be a nightmare for Anderson and, the, for, and for you as well, for Bob Arum. It's crazy. And then Anderson accepted, bro, the challenge from Luis Ortiz by passing other fighters that he could literally fight we have Dillian White there um we have Ajit Kabayer okay Ajit Kabayer no he's fighting next next month right but still is a future fight you even have Derek Chisora that I know Derek Chisora will give this guy hell you know but Anderson struggled against um, Charles Martin, so I think they are gonna they are matching him very carefully. Anderson is a very talented fighter, just that he doesn't carry the, the punching power of a real heavyweight. It's like a cruiserweight, it's like a pumped up cruiserweight in a way. Anyways, um, Adewale, what do you make of uh, Anderson? So you go. Uh, and that's in um, Jerry Anderson accepting the 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 battle, uh, the the call out by Luis Ortiz and stuff like that. And how old is Luis Ortiz, bro? This guy should be about seventy five now. I I don't really like these kinds of matchups where one fighter is almost double the other fighter's age. Um, but anything can happen at the same time because we've seen one of the greatest um, um, heavyweight events between um, George Foreman and Michael Moore, where Foreman was 46 and Moore was, I believe, 20. He was in his 20s. He wasn't up to 30. And the 46-year-old Foreman knocked him out in the, I believe it was the ninth round. I, I might be wrong. So yeah, it's possible, but this is a different situation where um, Ortiz is only fighting for money. There is no other motivation, any other reason for him to still be fighting. He's only fighting for money. Anderson doesn't give Ortiz anything whatsoever. If anything, Anderson takes everything from Ortiz because now it's going to be on his record that he defeated Ortiz. Nobody would care um, about the fact that Ortiz was twice his age and only fighting for money so that's why the only critique i have for that fight um i'm not excited about the fight i'll be honest I'm, i have zero excitement i but i also understand why ortiz is still fighting you know coming from cuba no other skills no english language um find yourself in america the only thing that he has is 
boxing and he's still doing it sacrificing himself to feel to feed his family but it is what it is man i wish i wish luis ortiz the best that's all i have to say about that yeah but how can you live in america for so many so many years and don't want to speak english bro that, that thing surprised me bro. <laughs> i swear bro yeah i don't go lie to you those, those guys they go stay in there you know say in america you can live there without english if you can speak fluent spanish just go to, just move to those areas where spanish is enough to get you around life you know so yeah it's it's the same way in canada you you're good if all you can speak is french just yeah, move to the areas well, where canada is english. different the reason why it's different because canada has two sides french and Eng- Eng- french side and english side yeah so america is an english speaking country basically there is no like spanish is like is not the officially recognized it's not a it's not it's not an officially recognized language in america in the american constitution i mean you don't go to school to to you don't you don't you when you go to school in america you you they don't i mean you don't learn how would i say no. spanish they like, don't have a spanish curriculum where like you can learn spanish a language at some point but I mean, a Spanish curriculum where like it's like part of your constitution or something like that. It's not like that. Yeah. So 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 just because you move uh, to a place, it's just like I don't know, but there's just something. The same thing in Spain. If you go to Spain, they hate the English language, bro. A Spanish can huh. speak. Yeah, a Spaniard can speak English, but he does he doesn't like the English speaking English. He can he would yeah. rather, he would rather learn Italian than to speak English. In Spain, mm. I'm talking about in Spain, like basically the yeah, people that, Spain, the people, Spain, Europe, the people that colonized the these Latin American uh, uh, countries, they hate the English language so bad, bro. But yet, the economy is, is tight, bro. Yeah, economy, is it? Yeah, man. The reason, listen, Spain should be one of the most one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Like there was one once a powerful country economically. But because mm. of their arrogance, just like Italy, because they're arrogant and stuff like that, they are not, they don't, they are not, they are, listen man, it's very different, kind of like, they still live in the, in the, let, let's say 17th century, bro. They are, they are very conservative. Uh, not only that, racist as well, I'm not saying all, oh, but they, they, are, they are thinking is very different, bro. I don't mm. like they are not uh, bro, Italy is like a, a different Italy is like basically Africa and Africa promise <laughs> I yeah. have no reason for wanting to visit those two countries no, Italy no, no, or Spain or France it's very great to Italy, visit. Spain, France I have no bro, France incentive France to want to visit those, France, those France three countries France is way better than, than those countries listen France doesn't doesn't also like English but you can understand mm. because France and England, they used to be our core enemies, bro. It's fast. Mm. But I think Spain is just mad because in, uh, it, it's mad because the UK took uh, Gibraltar from them. You know, Gibraltar is basically in, uh, in uh, Morocco, part of Morocco, basically. Yeah. In Africa, Africa, basically. And the world controlled by Spain. So uh, the UK followed the British, they took it. Then those people there are uh, British citizens. They decide to remain with Britain. They made a, they did a referendum. They choose Britain over Spain. And ever since the Spanish uh, crown has been, you know, Spain has king. So they have been mad, man. You know? So Spain, the Spanish still, they still have a king. They and they have king. Spanish so... have king. Um, uh, Engl- uh, England has king now. Um, Netherlands is a kingdom. Um, Sweden is a kingdom, Denmark the same kingdom. Uh, the only country that is not a kingdom in in Western Europe is Germany, or and um, France. Even Luxembourg and they want to, kingdom. and they want to force me to remain with people that don't like me in in the country that they created, <laughs> and they want me to be a part of a country with some people that don't like me, and I've mm. consistently pulled the country down. I don't what know man, like? about that. It's just their way. But in those countries, though, they also have their own problems. You have to understand that in Spain, uh, the people from Barcelona are Catalans. They don't want to be part of Spain. 
because over 200 years ago they were banned from speaking catalan catalan were banned in schools um banned everywhere the people from catalina were persecuted you know the, Catal- the catalans and uh they want to they they want to be they want to be on the be on their own but no, it's not possible because when you have the madrid madrid country everything so if it's just like the germany for germany for example you have bavaria that wants to be on their own but the but catalans is more extreme they wanted that one is more extreme because they've been basically beat down by the, the spanish government huh? and they have the richest re- they have the richest region in uh in spain anyways let's not go to history let's talk about this so well, that's what i'm saying i don't know how you live in america for that for two years and don't speak one english you can't even communicate in english but uh, wow if not germany a guy not the apple and your country you'll go, you go back to your country guy <laughs> or you go, <laughs> ah, or you go, or you go did it the this the the buzu the buzu boo for street you don't go get a better job you don't go get enough you settle down because the german only like you you must learn a language guy or mm. you know you know go go far you could just do back a uh, crap job now mm. you know the, that's, america is very is very tolerant you know you have to give them that man. yeah so yeah um otis should be 75 by now you know it was really <laughs> yes <laughs> So, yeah no so even his football age i don't think it's really just over 50 i doubt it why is um uh, like ajakba is in the, is is part of the top right now man i feel like he's not getting the love should be getting i'm one of those guys that campaign for him to leave pvc when top run i expect him to be more active bro i'm not saying it and hmm. active not just active but active against people that will improve you as a fighter you know so Zang- so how many fights did he have last in 2023 I, had a, a, I think in 2023 i think it was three fights huh if i'm not mistaken three fights yeah uh three fights steph steven oh stephen stefan shaw zanko zubuski and uh, joseph goodhall that sounds good that's good yeah yeah zanko Ruski one was very impressive that one was undefeated that i, I didn't expect uh him to be zanko Zabuski, though it was good yeah because Zabuski was throwing low punches yeah guido vianello uh, this is his last one 24 so ov- hopefully in a fight three times and ajaba should be on one of those one of these uh um saudi card bro. five on five yeah yeah but i don't think you know you see you know the thing about the saudi card is turk has that relationship with the uk promoters you know that's the main thing so unless there can be a partnership between top rank wada is like okay what do you mean like uh, no wada is a free agent you know wada is is, is a free agent better is not free agent he's a he's a top rank fighter Mm. yes better behave is a top rank fighter bivo is a matron fighter but they are fighting saudi yeah bro hmm but be of is, is top rank that's a good point that's a good point while that is a free agent so that doesn't count before matchroom because if you think about it it's mainly frank warren and eddie hand I, 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 I feel like supplying the, fights american, in. the american promo- promoters they they have they are like they don't want to work like that it's just weird man they everybody wants to have their fighter you know i don't know man like they want to defeat the record look at jim the davis for example no what what those guys are doing there with jim the davis it's going to backfire that this is their last opportunity they better have a great performance against frank, frank martin if they don't kill frank martin People are going to start asking questions because he needs to start fighting real fighters, like fighting for the belt. Tank. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm interested in that. Anyways, Tajabwe, what's your take on this right here? Uh, 
<clears throat> Jared Anderson versus Luis Ortiz. Listen, Jared Anderson knew exactly. He knew exactly how that. Oh, I had. I, let me pick Luis Ortiz. Bro, this is a message for Jared Anderson. Come on. You, I, I don't know who the hell you're fooling. Luis Ortiz is 45 years old. He's been through some wars. The guy has fucking high blood pressure. By the time he gets in the ring, he's going to be gassing for air. The guy's like a grandfather of boxing. I don't know who he's trying to impress <laughs> it with, 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 with fighting somebody. I'd rather much see you fight a, 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 a Derek Chisora, somebody at least I know who could really put some pressure on you and throw some bombs at you. Then you you decide, oh, let me fight Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz did not look did, did not actually look good in his last fight because he was getting teed up against uh, 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 Charles Martin, you know, until he landed a good shot. But he looked like he looked terrible. Okay, Luis Ortiz looked like he was gonna die in that ring until he landed a decent shot against Charles Martin. That was the only good shot, and I think he had a fight. Before, he had a fight after that too against a nobody. I'm not even. Yeah, yeah, he he, he, he got beat. Fight. He got beat by by Andy Andy. Who uh, uh Ruiz Ruiz? Uh, look at that. So it's 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 funny, right? right? That you know he's been through those wars, and now you want to now you want to fight him. Listen, that Luis Ortiz, he's like like I didn't want to say he's just fighting for money. There's there's no motivation there. He's probably gonna get touched. Luis Ortiz is probably gonna get hit with one slight punch, and he's like, oh, I'm done. Like it's gonna be. That's that's just the way it is. You know, that's just the way it is. He, he, uh, I didn't want to mention Michael Moore versus versus uh, 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 what's this guy's name? The uh, Foreman. Uh, Foreman. Listen, to this day, people are still saying uh, that fight was rigged, including me, because I do believe that fight was rigged. The way the way Moore went out, it looked it funny. So, a uh, message to end. Uh, 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 um, Jared Anderson, you find Luis Ortiz, it looks stupid. It looks really dumb on your resume. Instead, how about you challenge the other state, the up and coming fighters in your in, in the stable to apparently you're really you're this good fighter, but you're not challenging uh, uh, um, that Cuban fighter that beat Effie Jabba. Okay, you're not challenging him. Okay, you're not. Oh, challenging Dubois. Him. Yeah, no, well, Dubois. Uh, Sanchez is fighting. Bro, this uh, guy. Caballero. Yo, yo, bro. Um, this guy was yo Sanchez Caballero is a great fight, by the way. But let me say this: um, Anderson was in an interview and he was saying that he doesn't rate Dubois as a as an elite fighter. I'm like, come on, what are you talking about, Anderson? You're not elite yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know why he's saying that? Because then you Dubois quit. That's why he's saying that. If he, if then Dubois did not quit, he wouldn't be saying that. But at the same time, you know, listen, we got Joe Joyce. In there, I've, I've been saying this for such a long time. This is why boxing, this is why uh, uh, Turkey Alashis has, has come into boxing. These guys refuse to make these fights while it's there. The, yeah, you could these up and coming fighters. They could fight once, but we we could we want to see you again down in the line. Okay, Efe Jagba has yet to fight a freaking Joe Joyce. You, they, they're they're just about the same. Okay, they're just about the same with Efe Jagba being the slight faster puncher but andy uh, uh but joe joyce being that joyce. more solid puncher okay but they they refuse to make this fight i don't know what's going on with fa jagba and the way they're they're, they're they're moving him up okay eventually you fight you fight fighters that people don't know or fighters that are not on your level eventually you're gonna fight to their level and you're gonna either lose or you're gonna look stupid and and fa jagba don't look I'm, I'm being honest. Effie uh, Jagba did not look too good this, this his past fight. It, he did not look too good. Again, you fight to the you eventually fight to fighters that are not on your level. You you you're gonna stoop to the you're gonna fight on the same level. Okay, eventually you're gonna fight on the same level and not look good. Okay, Joe Joyce versus Effie Jagba needs to be done. Okay. Honestly, Effie there is Jagba. no reason. There's no reason why Joyce Jagba isn't happening. Like I mean, Queensberry and Top Rank. They have a solid relationship. They should as, make that as happen. The, the Nigerian in me, I don't want to see it, but what can I say? Both fighters need their confidence boost up. So, bro, they they do. But if I, hey, I didn't want to see uh uh uh, uh AJ versus versus Francis Ngannou. But those guys got it done. At the end of the day, right? These guys want to get paid. I want to see those guys 
get paid and actually make good money, especially after a job who's been fired for so long. Okay, let's get this guy paid, man. You know, at least let that be his motivator to actually fight. But at the same time, how much longer before F.A. Jagba, he, uh, how old is F.A. Jagba, 32, 33? You know, eventually time is going to catch up and he's going to, he, instead of instead of getting that good bunk, good fight, he's going to lose to somebody he shouldn't lose to. And people are going to like, uh, he, he's not really marketable anymore. He's not an attraction. He's going to be on undercard. He shouldn't be on undercard. Yeah, he, lo he lost to, uh, um, um, what's that Cuban fighter again? Uh, uh, Sanchez. Sanchez. But he didn't lose. He didn't lose bad. I thought that fight was a decent fight. You know, I thought that fight was a decent fight. Who said he there can't be another rematch with fucking uh, Ajagba and uh, and and uh, and Sanchez, right? And at the same time, let's see, Ajagba could be could mix up with Andy Ruiz. There's so many fights to be made, but this is not happening. Okay, that's why this guy Turkey is 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 the one do, making these fights. Ajagba should be you're right. Ajagba should be un, should be on this undercard. Okay, I don't know why it's not happening, but he should definitely be on the undercard. But at the same time, it's 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 all about who's who's hand, who's the, who's the handle of FA Jabba. You know, I, I'm for me, I'm not personally happy where he's at. I gave him the opportunity. I was like, okay, let's see, let's see where where, where he comes up after this. Let's see where he comes up after this. You know, I've always said that FA Jabba de definitely definitely has the he has the skill set. The skill set is there for him, but I don't know who's controlling him. You know. At the, look at look at look at uh 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 uh, uh, uh this guy who's gonna fight Daniel Dubois, okay? The Croatian dude. Man, I'm not too good with these freaking names. Hergovic. Um, thank you. <laughs> 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 thank you, bro. Like, listen, Hergovic. Hergovic's skill set is limited. He's known for to be a a a, de a, a decent puncher, okay? I do believe Efe Jagba has has had the um. Has better skill set. When Hergovic went against against uh, Zeng Zlay, we all saw who won. Okay, just like what when uh, um, when Her when Hergovic went against these other these other class fighters, we we knew who won those fights. Why can't we make the Why can't we mix these guys up? We got to mix these guys up. That these fights not being happening is why boxing is being is is hurt is hurting. Okay, hopefully they do something about it. Yeah, man, that's true. Anyways, guys, you've heard it from our brothers. Tell Jagway and Adewale, stay tuned for more exclusive bangers. God bless you all.